Uh, in this video, I'm going to use Live Bindings and the TMS software FireMonkey Grid, which is a registered user download that you'll find in your registered user download page on EDN. And we'll use it with C++. So let's say File New, FireMonkey Desktop Application, HD. And we'll put a SQL connection down. And let's connect this up to our... Uh, interbase employee database and just make sure that uh, I can connect to it yep right mouse click bring up the live bindings wizard and we're gonna link a grid with a data source in this case we're gonna use the TMS grid which is a component package that as I mentioned is available for register users to download from the TMS software company and I'll use that grid instead of the grids I've used before the gr T grid and string grid and we're going to create a new source, which is the bind source DBX, like you've seen before. So here's my SQL connection, the driver's interbase, employee, let's do a query. Let's say select star from customer. And we're connected, that's correct. We're gonna add a data source navigator. And now we've got the navigator, we've got our binding list and our bind source DBX, and we've got the TMS grid. The TMS software FireMonkey Grid is available in the XE3 registered user downloads page. And you can install it. It shows up in its own palette down here as TMS FMX UI. There's the grid and bitmap container and a few other components. And there are many options for it. You can find out additional information on the TMS software page. Uh, the TMS pack for FireMonkey includes the grid. And there's manual and information. You can upgrade to the full pack. Here's just some things you can do about the grid. You can do multi-indexing and sorting. You can do coloration. You can embed controls in the grid. And so on. we're going to keep it very simple in this short video. But there's lots of information. Also, when you install the TMS pack, uh, there's a documentation folder as well as the binary packages and libraries available for the different platforms, Win32, Win64, and OS10. There's a grid developer's guide, which is a 130-page a PDF with lots of information about how to use the grid and all of its different options, how to do filtering, live bindings, grouping, sortings, and there's much more, including examples and tutorials. If we go down to the end, there's tutorials about using the grid with columns, with live bindings, how to get it individual cells, deal with Boolean data, check boxes, things of that kind. All that's available. Let's just keep it simple here in the IDE. Let's look for the grid. Down here, there are a set of options, the options property, and then there's sub-properties underneath that for doing things like headers and footers, borders, editing, controls, so autocomplete, cancel, and so on. Mouse operations, so do you want fixed column size? Otherwise, you can, you can drag the columns and make them wider or narrower. You can drag columns. For printing, there are different printing options, including margin settings. And sorting is one I want to do because people love to sort data in grids. So one of them is multi-column sort. And then we want to, instead of having the sort mode, we want indexed, which means we can set one or more columns. You have the other option, normal, which just gives you one column sorting. So you can just click in the header and have it sort any of the columns. If I set this to indexed, then... Uh, I can select multiple columns. So that's, we'll, that's what we'll do in this quick demo. And let's hit uh, run. And we're now compiling it with C++, 32-bit. And so I can click on a column and sort it ascending or descending. Notice the little number there. If I use shift and click, so for example, if I want to sort on country ascending, and then within country, sort by customer ascending. So here for the U.S. customers, for example, We've got those customer names us in ascending order as well. If we wanted them descending, then we just keep the shift key down and click. Notice the number two, now it points, the arrow points down. And then if we let go the shift key and we point and we click on a different column, so contact last name and then maybe within, uh, within country, we can click and we can edit. It's a fully editable uh, control. Uh, to do everything i still use the navigator and we have all of that using the tms software grid for firemonkey and we can also use the tms firemonkey grid with 64-bit windows 
So we'll just compile and run for 64-bit. Again, you have all the same controls for sorting, multi-column, printing, print preview, whatever you put inside of your application uh, using code and using the settings in the object inspector. And that's just a quick introduction to using the TMS FireMonkey grid with C++ Builder, both 32-bit, 64-bit, and you can use it with Macintosh.